Where's my fucking headphones? What is up losers? I am back with another reaction video. It's getting boring. There's gonna be more content coming soon, don't worry. I'm not just gonna stick to reaction videos. I've been working on a lot of stuff, okay? Watch this space. Merch link in the bio, music link in the bio. Let's get on with the video. I should've got water before I started, but I didn't. Oh yeah, I've got a fan on underneath here. I hope you can't hear it. It's just keeping my balls cool, you know? We're watching Hoarders, let's go. Jessica, she's having a lot of trouble hanging on to things, trying to maneuver in there. If something happened, it would be a disaster. God, she's a dwarf as well. Surely you wouldn't like fill your house with loads of shit. Like, it's already hard enough to get around. But Jessica follows Dale's lead. I mean, she does model everything that Dale does. Fucking Dale. <laughs> Prick. Ignore my hair, by the way. Shower and that, you know? I do wash on the occasion. Well, not to be rude, but I think it's well beyond pretty bad. <sighs> I don't know how they're sleeping in there. You can't live with things piled to the ceiling and four feet across. Only one bedroom that you can get into, and I personally can't even see the bed. When a house is that full of shit as well, you don't know what's in that far corner. Do you get what I'm saying? Like, in each corner of the room, like you don't know what's in there. Mold, fucking spiders, fucking kids. Not fucking kids. Like... Extreme change, and I expect it to be cleaned up at least within a month. You're possessed by your possessions. You're drowning in them. Hear that bar then? You're possessed by your possessions. You're drowning in them. Change. And if you're not gonna change, a home will no longer be available for you to live in. Oh, there'll be an eviction notice. There'll be the sheriff coming. It will not be pretty. I mean, if that's the extreme measures you're gonna have to take, your landlord's kicking you out because you're dirty. You're fucking dirty. It is a mental illness, isn't it? It is a mental There's no way if you're completely sane you could live like that. Not a fucking chance, like. We would have nowhere to go. If we were evicted, we would probably end up living in our car. You would not be able to live in a car, but fitting all that in a car. You live in a fucking, what, 15 transits backed onto each other like some mad limo. Jessica's sister, Shirley, has made efforts to clean the house in the past. But her mother's resistance made it impossible. Today, for Jessica's sake, Shirley and her brother, Roy, have agreed to try once more. I probably haven't been inside my mom's house on, in Roy. six to eight years. I haven't had much involvement with it in years because I'm usually a little too blunt with my feedback. But I don't know, I have a hard time sugarcoating things and I don't know why I should. I feel you, Roy. That's why everyone thinks I'm a prick. All because I'm a prick. Watch your step. The living room. Um, well, that's the appropriate word for it. Oh. Step over. Well, they're mother and daughter, and they're living in the same small bit of bed on the floor. Come on, kids. Come on, sort it out. Right here. Surely that's not their dog. A dog lives in there as well. Let the dog free. Hi, Roy. Hi. Welcome to my humble abode. I guess that's one way to... She blended in. She was camouflage into the shit then. Hey, Roy. What? Want me to cook you dinner? It was a joke, Roy. The other one was there as well. <laughs> hey, Roy. And then another one just goes... Dun, 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 dun. Forgive me if I have less than a sense of humor about this. Aside from the shock of everything, you get to the bedroom and there's my mom and Jessica just sleeping in the middle of the afternoon knowing that things have to get done, otherwise she's gonna be out of the house. Sit up, Jess. I'm trying. I'm probably squishing her. Well, it's messy. No, no, my, my car is messy. <laughs> because I have uh, a candy bar wrapper and three bottles of water on the floor. This is ridiculous. Your daughter isn't going to have a life of her Tell own her, if you boy. keep Tell her. I don't, I'm sorry, I don't have a polite way to put this. He was extremely angry and could not help but voice it. And I can understand why he would be. But when it comes to actually start cleaning, Dale deploys a tactic that both Roy and Shirley have got used to over the years. She likes to stall, you know, she takes smoking in there as well. Oh my God, that house is reeks, man. Oh, it looks like a skip. Was it living a skip? My mom is obviously completely delusional. She thinks that Sheila's not going to evict her, and you would think after 50 some years she would know her sister well enough to know that she's not going to have a house if she doesn't get this done. 
I'm not going to have you treating everything like it's all garbage because this is not garbage. It is, though, it? It is. I'm sorry you feel that way. But that's something for you and a counselor to figure out, apparently. I love my mom, but I don't know that I can help her. She's made her own choices, though. Jessica has not made most of these choices, and she does not deserve to be in this position. She's been through enough hell in her life. Get her out. That was a sad ending for no reason. I want to go help Jessica out of the cesspit that she lives in. This one's called Team Refuses to Clean Biohazard House Full of Dog Feces. Anything that looks like trash or is broken, then you can uh, take it to the dumpster. But most of the stuff that's in the front room area, we'd like to take to this pod. And then we'll have a little bit of space for doing some sorting. All right. They've got like a whole team in for this one. Jesus, what have they got in there, man? That's where COVID started in this house. I swear to God, at the back, there's just a, a bat sandwich. We're finding a little bit of everything. It's uh, surprising, and it's starting to smell in here. Okay, that fridge, I bought it. <coughs> <coughs> that is fucking disgusting, you tramps. It's never worked from day one, and I'm sorry, but I'm gonna try to clean it and return it, because that was like 100 bucks, and I'm not gonna just throw it out. Oh, good. Yeah, no, can you smell it through that? Yeah. When I opened that fridge, it had hit me hard. <laughs> The smell it went right through my mask and everything. It was, it was, it was bad. I don't think she could have returned that fridge. Do you get that that the store won't take it back? But it should have worked. Well, yeah, but you're not going to be able to prove to them now that these guys will take it now in the dumpsters, or it okay, has to go to Okay, just throw it. Just throw it. Okay. Dog poo, cat poo. Rotten fruit. We got everything here. I wouldn't be surprised if there's something dead in here. Ah! Yeah. <laughs> you guys are gonna eat that? You guys are gonna eat that? Because I'll eat that if you're not gonna finish it. You okay, buddy? <laughs> what is that? Something smell. I smell it too. That's like rotten egg. That's what that smell is. <laughs> I stepped on something. It was an egg. I can't fucking do this today. That is fucking disgusting. Can you stick that in the pod? That stuff can go to like the pod for now. What Sorry. is in this thing here? Is this pod? That goes to the, the pod. So far it's going pretty slowly. I mean, people are moving things, but it's all going in the pod. Most of the stuff that we're keeping is, is garbage and it needs to go but. We can't get that through to her, and all we're doing is creating uh, another horde outside. Oh, that's dog stuff. I want to keep that. I'm not going to try to hang on to everything. Oh, I'm not throwing that out. No, I'm not holding on to everything. Not that, though. Not that. That's my favorite crisp packet from 1964, okay? I like those crisps. Reminds me of Disneyland. Work continues downstairs. Two of the officers move upstairs to see what progress they can make there. <laughs> oh, my God. That's just downstairs, dude. What the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? It's not dog shit. Oof. I am absolutely right. Put the woman down, burn the house. That's the fucking vile. Dumbfounded right now. I'm like blown away. It just shows the level of um, how ill she really is. I can't imagine anybody doing this to themselves. I honestly don't even think it's safe to be in this house. I really don't. Yeah, we're done. We're, we're done. Out of, we're out of here. This house needs to be burned down. I fucking told you, Bab. Burn it down. Kill her. Surely as well, yeah? Take the dog off her, because she does not deserve to look after that dog. That's fucking vile, man. Live in your own shit. Don't make your fucking dog do it as well. Can we just, can we just stop for one second? I'm getting a headache already. To help keep Beverly focused. Now, come on, Bab. You've been given all this help, yeah, and you're still just moaning. Shut up. Professional organizer Stacy Walker suggests they go outside to regroup. Professional, professional organizer. How'd you come about that job? Because that's not, that's, I've never seen that on Indeed. Okay, one of the things that I think we're running into the problem is, is that you're trying to sort 
as we go. And it's not and working. And we just can't. Yeah. We just but can't, I can't just right throw, now. I can't throw everything out, though. But we're not. Yeah, but we don't want I you don't to keep it. everything either. See, look. That is not all garbage that they just got right there. You want to go see? I want to see what's in there. Now I have to look through all these bags now because now I can't, now I'm upset, so. <gasps> this is like my favorite ashtray. <laughs> my favorite ashtray. Bob, it's a bit of glass or resin that you tap burnt tobacco into. How can you have a favorite? It can't be asked. A sentimental ashtray. Where have you got a picture of your dead nan in the bottom of it? That you fucking put your cigarettes out onto every day. Ah, oh, fuck off. This is my favorite composting pot. What the hell, dude? The only thing that's going through my mind is for the last eight months, all we've done is help. And uh, for all us to be out there and hear that we're not trusted anymore, I was a bit offended by that. The city's going to come and take your home. They're going to come take it. That is a bold, aggressive, honest truth. You're going to lose your whole life because you're hanging on to it so tight and it's garbage. Listen, Curtis, they might want to take my house, but that is my favorite ashtray. Curtis, what am I supposed to do? Curtis, I have ashtrays to uphold. Poor dog. I'm literally booking flights to go to wherever she lives in fucking Midwestern Australia, USA. And I'm going to save the dog. Thank you so much for watching. Music, merch, and social link in bio. Love you guys. Right? And I'll see you when the moon, when the moon comes down, when the moon, when the moon shines that way.